Hello and welcome to another great deck tech here at Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we are feeding our opponents some vitamin B, B for butt kicking. So our deck today uh, is a very fun, janky deck. Uh, you can get in a lot of wins, and when the wins come, they happen fast. So our goal today is to awaken V2 Gazi. Okay, this is an instant for two green and three. You can put nine one one counters on a target land. It becomes a legendary elemental creature with haste named V2 Gazi, and it's still land. So this is an instant. We want to do this at the end of our turn when our opponent's tapped out, maybe not a lot of presence on the board, or you have a way of removing those things. Uh, so once you attack in, you do nine damage, then we're going to thud it. We're going to pay one red and uh, deal damage equal to that creature's power. That's 18 damage. We need to get our opponent down below 18 damage so we know they're vulnerable. And the, the way we're going to do that, uh, we have risk factor. So I don't know anybody who doesn't take the four damage from risk factor. Uh, the first four damage. But uh, you, you cast this out for two and a, and a red, and target opponent uh, may have risk factor deal four damage. And if they don't, you draw three cards, and you can do it again by discarding a card with jumpstart. Uh, so you get that initial damage in, you get them below 18, and then it's time to awaken Vitugazi. Now there are some things that we have uh, that can assist if, say, uh, they have a lot of chump blockers out there. Uh, First, we have our primary is Rumbling Ruin. Uh, for five and a red, uh, when it enters the battlefield, you count up the number of 1-1 counters on creatures you control, and then creatures your opponents control with power less than or equal to that can't block. So our damage will still get in, we'll still be able to thud, and we'll be able to close out the game. Um, so to get there, we need some ramp. We've got four Lana War Elves, and we've got four Paradise Druids. Uh, we also need a little removal to clear anything out of the way with Lava Coil. Uh, more card draw with Tormenting Voice. And in case we get something out and uh, we, we, uh, th we believe that they're going to uh, try to cause some damage to our Vitugazi or to one of our backup creatures, uh, we can use Blinding Fog. Not a huge fan of that, but it does give them hexproof. So if they try to murder your Vitugazi before you swing in, uh, you can you can you can fog it. Uh, for control matchups, uh, we have Carnage Tyrant uh, rotating out soon. So use it now while you can. Uh, fantastic against control, can't be countered, and it's hexproof. For lands, we have eight mountains, eight forests, four rootbound crags, and four stomping grounds. In the sideboard, now this is my sideboard, so adjust it to whatever you need to. Uh, we have three Talons of Wildwood, which will give your V2 Gazi trample, which will help. Uh, and uh, if, it, if by chance it gets killed, you can return it to your hand from your graveyard. Cinder Vines, if they're casting a lot of um, uh, enchantments that exile, um, Exile creatures. Uh, now, keep in mind, this is a land creature, so things like Ixalan's Binding won't work on your Vitugazi. Uh, but this is, all, this is a, f a fantastic spell, too, if you get it out early and they're playing Burn, uh, this will get their damage, get the damage down uh, to where you need it early in the game while they're casting those non-creature spells. Uh, every time they cast one, it'll do one damage to that player. Then you can sack it, destroy an artifact or enchantment and do two more damage. Uh, Blanchwood Armor, just because it would be funny. Uh, Watley, the Sun's Heart. So if you're dealing with an opponent who um, has is aggressive burn, they've been burning you, uh, you can you can play this out and uh, use your Vitugazi, of course, which will be a 9-9. Gain nine life, get back in the game. Rampage of the Clans. Uh, if there are a lot of artifacts and enchantments out and you just don't want to deal with them, uh, you can kill them all. It does give your opponent 3-3 three, three centaur creature tokens, uh, but you're not that worried about it. If you're, if you're sideboarding in Rampage of Clans, you're probably also sideboarding in your Talons of Wildwood. 
Angrath will give your creature menace and provide a chump blocker earlier in the game. And prodigious growth. Uh, well, again, I put things in here that would just be funny if to put to make your Vitugazi a 16-16 with trample. Come on, what's not to love about that? <laughs> All right, well that's the deck. Let's jump into a game and see how it works. All right, playing some vitamin B, vitamin B for butt kicking. I think we can keep this. That out there. I mean, we have enough ramp to get us to our V2 Gazi. Hopefully we're not running into straight control, which is epically boring. And the way that pans out is we wait till we get our I mean, on the next turn, at the end of turn, we can awaken the Vitugazi. Hopefully we'll draw into a... Um, a thud. Or a second Vitugazi. Um, let's just risk factor for now. See if they take it. Cool. No attacks. I really want them to tap out. Rootbound crag. Let's. Hit him again. No attacks. All right, so if we can get, if they cast a Planeswalker, okay, Surveil, draw a card. If they tap out, hopefully they do. Let's see if they, okay, beautiful. So we will do this. Oh wait, you didn't see the trick. Boom. <laughs> and that's how you feed someone a big old help em, helping of vitamin B. <laughs> All right. Well, if you like what you saw today, please hit the like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. It'll let you know when we're doing some cool stuff. Uh, but please share this with your friends, your family, your pets, because everyone can use a little more magic in your in their lives and uh find chuck wagon mtg on facebook twitter and in uh, a parking lot of an lgs in michigan all right thanks for joining us uh, this is mtg strategist out